Howdy, y'all. This is your favorite gunslinger, Shot Call. And this is practically my first purchase um, of a firearm. I've always, I guess you could say, supported the Second Amendment. Um, I just never exercised it till now. Um, so this isn't an unboxing or anything like that. I just want to show you um, what I've purchased. Um, as you can see, it's a SIG, SIG Sour, I'm not sure how you explain that, guys, I'm brand new to all of this, I'm trying to learn as quick as possible, I've been on YouTube countless hours, uh, just searching up stuff on, on guns, ammo, how to shoot, laws, stuff like that, so if I get something wrong, please forgive me, don't kill me, guys, like I said, I'm brand new to all of this, I'm just getting into it, um, it's very interesting. It's very fun to me now. Um, I honestly, you know, have quit my other hobbies um, just to, you know, focus more on this topic. So anyways, uh, moving forward, I'm going to show you this piece. Now, some of you experienced guys out there might know just by looking at this box what this might be. And let's see if you get it right. It's a Nerf gun. But this is just to show you. This is just an example to show you of what I actually did with my actual gun. I purchased this gun. It's a Sig Sauer. The sights came with the domino sights, I believe. I believe that's what you call them. So you got a white dot here and two white dots on the end. Um, I've been going to the range about once a week now maybe shooting 100 to 200 rounds um, each time i go and i have a problem i don't know if it's the range i'm at maybe it's the lighting i'm not sure but i was told by the gun counter lady um of course very helpful very nice that i could try painting them okay so she Pretty much just explain to me, you know, hey, clean it with alcohol, you know, anyway, so I'm going to show you. Instead of just talking about it, I'm going to show you what I did. See, I got some alcohol. This is actually 50%. I'm not sure if this is ex what you're exactly supposed to use. But anyhow, I poured some in that cap just like that. Just a little bit. That might be too much. Grab this cotton swab. And like I said, some of you guys are experts out there. You already know what's coming. You know, I screwed up bad. So I started to clean the front one in this motion here. Looked at the Q-tip. And sure enough, you know, there was gunpowder. I don't know. Dust bunnies, whatever you want to call them. Lint. Okay, so then I do the back one. Same thing. Okay, I decided to use the other end. Use the other end. I started to clean the other side. Ah, lint, you know, dust bunnies, gunpowder, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then me being the person I am, I, I always overdo something. I did it again. I did it again. This time I did it with a little bit more force. When I lifted the Q-tip swab, my heart sank. Why? Because I cleaned... I cleaned it so harshly that I removed the paint. Okay, I wasn't expecting that, so I was scared. I, I, I'm scared. I don't know what I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm like, okay, I gotta figure this out. I overdid it. Obviously, it's clean enough. You know, I let the I let the gun sit. It dried out. You know, so as that was drying out, that's the next step that I did. I purchased this color, this type. I was told to purchase Rust-Oleum, but my, my nearest hardware store didn't carry Rust-Oleum. They carried Krylon and their own brand, which is, I don't know, I didn't trust it. It was too cheap. Um, this is the only fluorescent color they had. Now, like I said, this is a very small um, shop that I went to, so they didn't have very much colors at all. So what I was instructed by the young lady was to spray this in here, right? Not too much. Just make a little pool where I can dab, you know, um, this Q-tip in there. And then, you know, go back in here and dab it 
you know, do a few coats is what I was told. So I waited for it to dry, kind of, you know, I did this number and I could tell that it was kind of like gelling up or um, hardening, if you will. Um, so I went to go dip this Q-tip in here and I immediately noticed, I'm not the smartest person in the world, but I immediately noticed if I can get this thing to freaking, if I can get it to, it won't capture it okay i don't know if you can notice i can't get it to zoom in on that or actually to focus on it but i realized that that dot is way too big for my iron sight so when i i figured okay if i go to dab it i'm gonna make a mess and that shit ain't gonna fly because i spent uh, i think it was upwards of 500 dollars on my on my pistol you know, I was not about to ruin it. So, <laughs> I decided to go into my kids' drawers, and I found this. You might ask, what the heck is that? Because it looks like trash now. And for God's I cannot get this thing to focus on anything small. Anyways, this is a paintbrush. So, what I did is I took a lighter to the end of it. I don't know if you can tell the bristles... They're pretty much gone. I took a lighter to it, burned the edges, and with my fingertips, kind of rolled it. You see? So it's melted bristles, plastic bristles. And I even flattened out. You can't tell because I can't, I can't work this phone. If you can tell right there, you can kind of tell it's flat. And I made it flat for the same reason this actually, believe it or not, fits right in that in that iron sight. That it fits in there perfectly. So every time I went to go dip it and put it in my iron sight, perfect. Same thing, the back ones, perfect, perfect. So I did it about. I might have done about three or four coats. I'm not sure if that's how many I was supposed to do or not, but I think it worked out perfectly for mine. For my sake and for my pistol <laughs> that I did not want to ruin with this um, with this paint. Now, now I'm going to show you uh, the end results. First, of course, it's a P365. Okay, I'm just going to let you look at it first. I know the lighting is not great in here, guys. This is my first video ever. You know, I am a rookie when it comes to this. So, maybe that's better. Here, let me try to fix this. Well, no, doesn't make it any better. So, P365, 6 hour. Um, like, once again, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, you know, forgive me. Um, it comes with this clip. Um, some of you might know. Oh, that's not good. Or might not know. It's actually a 10 round clip. They do have an extended. Uh, actually, uh, two more extensions, a 12 round and a 15 round. They also have another 10 round that doesn't come with this, uh, this extension right here for like your pinky or whatever. Um, I find that this is perfect, fits perfectly in my hand. As you can tell, I like the way it feels. You might say my pinky's almost coming off of there, but I feel like that really helps. Uh, hold it. Now my P365... Did not come with the night sights. All right. Now that's focusing really good. Wow, I'm glad that's doing that. That's perfect. Now, <laughs> the color choice was not the best. You know, I'm in here looking at this thing like, wow, it looks like, you know, like somebody peed on a snowball and put it on my gun. Um... Like I said, of course, this is all they had, but I feel like this yellow might be better than, this is like a yellowish green, I don't know, might be better than the white that I had on there. Anyways, I'll be back to the shooting range tomorrow, and I'm going to test it out on a green silhouette. Um, now, you might want to ask what else you know, what are the features this gun has? It has no other features. I do know, I did find out today that they they actually make one with a safety um, 
on it. This one does not have one. Um, but yeah, anyways, um, you might want to see what I'm used to shoot it as I've been using this Federal Premium. Federal Premium Ammunition. It is a hollow tip. Well, as you can see, I <laughs> forgive all the, all the paint on my hands. I made a mess. So this is for a micro, which is, I guess this is considered a micro as well. There's 20 shots in here. Um, somewhere on here, it's actually 150 grain. For a 9mm, 150 grain. Okay? Now, they do make special ammo for this. I guess you can call it special. I don't think it's special. It's just... You know, it's SIG ammunition. It's 115 grain. It's it's what I would call is the cheap route. You get 50 rounds for I think uh, 15.99. Um, of course, I'm in Texas, so changes might you know the price might be different somewhere else. Maybe 14.99, 16.99. I have seen it upwards into 18.99 um, here in some shops, but um, I get mine at Bass Pro Shop. I shop there a lot for the ammo, and like I said, I get the P365 ammo there for $15.99, 50 rounds. Uh, I believe this one, I got it for $24. It's about a dollar a round. A dollar. So maybe 20, uh, maybe a little bit more than a dollar. Um, the recoil on it, it does say something on here about recoil. Let me see if I can find it. Well, there it goes. Minimizes felt recoil and improves function in micro guns. I did notice that the recoil was this almost, it felt almost the same as the 115 grain that they make for this. The SIG ammunition that they make with 115 grain, it feels almost similar to this. This is just a little bit more kick to it. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. It being that this is 150 grain. Um... I've ran out of the other of these bullets I had. I think I went through 100 rounds today. Um, I wish I would have saved at least a box so you guys could take a look at it. It's it's a it's like a pink, like a rose gold uh, lettering on there. It's like a brown box with rose gold lettering on there. Like I say, it's really cheap. So, anyways, we're gonna see what this uh, you know how this paint. I was told to let it dry for like 48 hours. You know, so whatever dust or lint, you know, doesn't get stuck in the paint. Um, I'm actually thinking about going over it with this. I know you can't see it, but this is like a UV clear coat. You know, I, I figure it might extend the life of this color. You know, for whatever reason, I might do the same thing. You know, like spray it into, a, you know, a top or something and then just dab it, you know, with my specialty brush here. I might make those mass production <laughs> for anybody who wants to paint their dots on their sites. So anyways, yeah, um, thank you for sticking around this long. Um, like I said, this is my first video. I've got many more videos, many more ideas. I, I actually want to talk to you about why I got into this. Um, it's Like I said, it's been something new for me. Of course, when something's new, it's always it's fun, it's interesting. But, um, you know, I want to further this journey with you guys um, uh, for years to come. You know, maybe you guys can teach me something on the comments. You know, write something in the comments. I can learn from you. You can learn from me. I can definitely... Um, I can definitely... <laughs> I can definitely assure you that you're going to learn from my mistakes because I, I, I'm sure I will make a lot of mistakes along the way. Um, but anyways, um, thank you so much for sticking around, you know, show me some support, you know, thumbs up, like, subscribe, you know, all that mumbo jumbo, you know how that goes. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, thank you so much, uh, and yeah, have a good night and, you know, have fun doing, have fun shooting. Peace.